On Tuesday, a scuffle between police and National Unity Platform supporters saw the party president Robert Chagulanyi sustain injuries in Bulindo, Chira municipality. Chagulanyi had gone to the area to visit his lawyer George Musisi. Chagulanyi was rushed to Nsambia Hospital where he spent a night after a reported surgery on one of his legs. NTV today visited Robert Chagulanyi at his residence in Magede. However, we failed to secure an interview with Chagulanyi since he was busy meeting dozens of friends and political allies who had gone to visit him. On the sidelines, we spoke to Edward Sebufu, commonly known as Edimutwe. Sebufu is Chagulanyi's longtime bodyguard. Edimutwe has been trending on social media platforms after some videos showed him abandoning his boss at a time he needed him most. He recounts the event. I'm called to have a day to gain the Kuliamu Chamisana, a Council George Musi, Council of Foyer at Waleriza. We had gone for a luncheon at Council George Musi's home and it was a very private function, and Chagulanyi even didn't want any publicity. As we left, a few people recognized Chagulanyi's presence, and that's how the police rounded us up and started confronting us. Chagulanyi was discharged from Sambia Hospital yesterday, and NUP Secretary General David Lewis Rubongoya confirmed that the NUP leader is steadily recovering at home. He's uh, getting better. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot walk without uh, any support, so he has to be on crutches and all that, which is really unfortunate because, as you know, there's a lot of work we always want to do, but now uh, he cannot uh, as yet walk on his own. But he's uh, responding to treatment. He'll be going back for review to see um, what the doctors will be saying. Rubongoya says they will take legal action against the police for allegedly brutalizing the party president and party supporters. We are studying together with our legal team to see what actions to take. Of course, like we've consistently told you, they are, they, it's, it's very unfortunate that uh, every time he has been attacked, for example, and other people have been attacked, we go to courts, they take so long, and even sometimes they are not able to give you justice, but we, we still try to go there. Police had earlier claimed that Chagulanyi stumbled and injured his leg as he tried to enter his vehicle. Yesterday, Chitu Marusoke, the police spokesperson, amended his position saying a thorough probe into the incident will enable them know the truth. The information we got from the officers at that material time uh, was that they saw him stumble uh, while getting into his vehicle. Uh, on the other hand, his team and himself and a number of people say or said that he was shot. Now, uh, what for us we are insisting on this is that until we carry out an investigation, <clears throat> we are a professional body, we cannot jump into any conclusion. Noop has however rejected the police's explanation. Where that incident happened in Bulindo, they did not show you the video footage of exactly what happened there. There are cameras there. Why didn't they bring, why didn't that Chitu Marusoke bring out the video of exactly what happened? In the same vein, party officials are demanding the immediate release of Paul Kato, Sharif Lukenge and Emmanuel Sentongo who were arrested during a confrontation with police on Tuesday. Several of our supporters were uh, brutally, brutally arrested. And uh, as you see in the footage, they were even being beaten up as they were put on the uh, police trucks. So we understand they are still at uh, Chira Police. Uh, that is Lukenge Sharif, Sentongo Emmanuel, and Kato Paul. Our team has been trying to follow up, and they've been told that uh, the police headquarters has taken over the investigations and all that. So you can see uh, we shall soon be applying for the unconditional release. As the party president of the National Unity Platform, Robert Chagulanyi steadily recovers from his Magere residence after being hit by a tear gas canister recently in Vulindo, the party has threatened to take legal actions against the police. However, the effectiveness of these legal actions remain a critical question given that the party has always accused the judiciary of being impartial in their judgments. David Ijo, in Magere.